Welcome to the CTAP1 channel. Today we are going to be installing roof sheathing. First, right now what you see to the right of the screen, we are installing a barge rafter, which is the end decorative rafter on the roof. First we have to put up a 2x4 that nails to the lookouts. The lookouts are 2x4 flat studded boards that go from the second truss across the end truss and then the uh, rafter we're working on right now is nailed to the outside ends of the lookouts. <coughs> Excuse me. Then when we uh, what we're going to do right now is uh, set up a string or a chalk line all the way across the house and we're going to mark the end of each of the rafters so that we cut them off and we'll have a straight line to put freeze boards on. Freeze board is the face board, fascia board that a gutter will attach to and then also the end bottom edge of the plywood roof sheathing panels will uh, overhang the top of that freeze board by just a little bit so that uh, roof uh, water rain runoff goes into the gutter. So right now I am marking where all the uh, cuts are going to be and the Mitch is going to follow with the circular saw and cut off the ends of the rafters that need to be cut off. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going through and marking things real quick. And then the last rafter that we just put on for the backer of the main barge rafter will be cut straight with the rest of those. And so the freeze board or fascia board will go all the way across the roof and rest or stop against the uh, decorative barge rafter on the end. Obviously we're having a high level discussion there. Okay, I have to climb up inside there, taking some measurements. Now Mitch is going to run down and make the end barge rafter and these rafters we do have a small decorative cut that we put into them. Uh, there are two lengths on the end of the barge rafter matching the old existing barge rafters and we have to cut a uh, inch and a half hole and then use a jigsaw to cut out a slot from the end of the rafter to where the hole is and then the upper part will be shorter than the lower part and you may just be able to get a look at it in the distance here. Mitch is just finishing it up and there we go and so unfortunately um, I don't know that you can, yeah, you can just see the end of there where it has the little uh, cut in it. So now we are nailing that onto the 2x4 that is connected to the lookouts. Now we are measuring and preparing to install the uh, fascia board. Fascia board is a treated uh, cedar. Um, five quarter by six. We're using 16 penny hot dip galvanized nails in our nail guns. And you nail not straight in, but you nail upward into the slope of the uh, top cord of the truss. And there's the second fascia board going up. Mitch is just measuring for the last fascia board now. And when that goes up, we will start putting roof sheathing up. 
and we will get most of the roof sheathing done today. So because of the way the trusses were uh, laid out by the truss manufacturer, we will be going from the end of the house toward the house, <clears throat> or from the far end of the addition back into the existing house. <clears throat> and that just has to do with the way that the spacing on the trusses is. So we're putting the first layer on now. Everything is working out nicely. The house is all nice and square. Everything is lining up properly. Now nailing this, we have switched to an 8 penny 8D nail galvanize ring shank and uh, has a nylon coat so they will hold very very well <coughs> and these are all exterior rated nails and that is a uh, half inch CDX plywood that we're putting up and then in matching to the old house it will be getting cedar shake roofing or cedar shingle roofing and there goes the last piece of the first course Okay, so I'm just going to run on down and nail off the upper part of all the panels that we couldn't reach from the ladders below. Now that we have that first course, we can get up on the roof and work our way up the rest of the way. <coughs> so I'm going to be up on the roof, nailing down the plywood, then I'll call down measurements to Mitch and he'll cut panels to whatever size that we need. So. When we don't need to cut, he'll just grab one, throw it up, climb up, set it in place, and start nailing away. So we can get quite a bit of uh, roof area covered fast, working as a team. So it's important to make sure that you get your spacing on the trusses and other items proper because if it's not spaced correctly then things don't line up. So you want to have your trusses on 24 inch centers and that way you end up using 
eight inch or eight foot sheets of plywood with uh, overlapping half of the truss so that you can lap things but uh, pieces up together and not have to do any special work and there's Mitch uh, trying to scare people being funny <coughs> So we run through nails pretty quickly. It's about a uh, stick and a half of nails for each sheet of plywood. We are nailing every seven inches and four inches at the edge of the panels according to the uh, architect's specifications for roof nailing. When all the roofing is on, all the uh, roof sheathing, then we call for a nailing inspection and the inspector will verify the nailing on all the external sheets of plywood on the walls and the roof. And once we have that inspection approved, we will have the roofers come in, which that'll happen sometime next week. And so we will have a roof to show you next week. Tomorrow's video is going to show at the window on the top left there's a little bathroom window that is inset into the roof and so we have to cut out the first truss that is bolted to the house and we make a uh, trough under the window about 16 inches wide so there is a space in front of the window and that space can actually be used for uh, flower pots. Uh, they can put anything out there or nothing out there, but it just creates a space so that the roof isn't right jammed up against the window. <clears throat> So I think we are doing the last couple of uh, sheets for the day. I'm uh, putting in sheets across on the other side of the roof, finishing up that. And so this side of the roof ends one inch below the top. And that is to create an air gap so that the continuous roof vent will vent the other side of the roof comes all the way up to the peak and nails into the um, blocking at the peak and so that is a full solid panel on the other side of the roof and this side here is an inch short just so that there's a ventilation right now mitch is dismantling the center wall that we had um, through the deck doors and we don't need that anymore because the trusses are up so that opens up that whole family room area now and Mitch is going to climb up there with the blower and just blow any dust or anything off of the roof and then we'll call it a day So we just like to blow any dust or debris off the roof so there's no uh, slipping as you step. Got a pretty good day of roofing today, uh, sheathing that is. You can see we have most of the sheathing is finished on that side. We've still got some special framing over there to do so we haven't finished yet. And then on this side here again we got most of it done and we just got to finish along the ridge up there so everything is looking really good we have directly above me on this side here the panel of the 
roof sheathing nails to the blocking in the ridge and on this side we have a one inch gap and that is for the continuous ridge vent that's going to go all along the top of the roof so we have uh, pretty good coverage here you walk out onto the deck here and so the roofing is up here then I will uh, walk down below and around and show you what it looks like from the street view in here in just a minute Okay, so there's the house. Let me see if I can shade that a little bit. Doesn't show up the best with the GoPro though. I'll have to look. Maybe this is actually. I'll just pause this and go to the side. So that is the view with the cell phone. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, so here you can see the roof lines of the house. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. Let me walk over to the front view and you can see the roof lines of the house. Okay, so you can see what the roof is like and walk a little farther over here maybe can come back with a different angle and you can compare the new roof with the old roof kind of hard to do through the trees here Yeah, just a few too many trees to really see the difference. But it's looking good. And we still have lots of smoke haze. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning up and uh, call it a day. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.